Hey guys and uh, welcome back to another video. In this video I will be exploring if I did make the right decision to upgrading my PC. So let's take a look. So as you can see the inside doesn't look too great. But the, the main thing that I upgraded with my uh, new machine over here is the motherboard, the CPU and the GPU. It's still almost the same thing. I got 16 gigs of RAM in this one and uh, also in my new one. And uh, yeah, it's both i7-3770. One of them is the K, that's the new one. And this one is the regular one. As you can see, I have some LED strips going up here. It isn't too easy to see, but yeah. It, it also has my old water cooler in here. So yeah, that's good. Now this machine was doing really good until I moved up to uh, 2K resolutions. That's uh, 1440p gaming. So that's when I had to upgrade, I found out. Or did I? Let's check it out. It's kinda hard to see inside this new system because of the gloss. It's really reflective on video, I don't really know why. But yeah, we got two Corsair fans. One of them is in the back and one of them is on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. In front we have the NZXT Kraken X52. It's a really nice water cooler that has RGB LEDs and things on there. And here is the main part that's the biggest difference and that is the GTX 1070 from Gigabyte. It has three fans as you can see here. Looks really good. And also uh, we got some SSDs. We got one here that's a Samsung 840 EVO I believe. Yeah. And we got two crucial ones right here. Those aren't too important, but uh, those are in a RAID 0 array, so they're pretty fast. And as you can see, we got the uh, MSI Military Class 3. This is the Z77 M Power motherboard, and we got 16 gigs of HyperX memory right there. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the performance. First game I tested was Rocket League, and it's not really that hard to run. But the 7950 played it without any major problems. The fans uh, spun up really loud because uh, it was working pretty hard. But uh, other than that, there weren't any issues. If you only play Rocket League, this card is actually pretty good at 1440p. But as we will see later in the video, I play other games too. Let's look at the FPS. As you can see, it holds over 60 FPS on average, and so far it's doing great. Now Counter-Strike is a little bit different. With an average of 94 FPS and a minimum of 49, it might look just fine, but uh, I'm actually used to a lot higher FPS on uh, Counter-Strike and uh, the minimum of 48, it's pretty bad. So if you want to play Counter-Strike, like for real, you should turn down the settings anyway, but this was run on max. So uh, 48 FPS is under 60 and you will notice it in-game. So. Uh, this was on the hardest to run at the newest one, which is uh, Canals. So uh, if you only play CSGO, I would uh, lower the resolution or uh, get another video card, like I did. Let's move over to the hardest to run game yet, which is The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 was the last game I tested and it was the most difficult one to run at 1440p. As you can see the 7950, my old graphics card, got the 38 FPS on average, which isn't too bad, but it got a minimum of 15, which is really bad. That's not gonna be a fun experience. The new one, the 1070, got 51 frames per second average, which is not that much better actually. So I'm thinking it's uh, more of a uh, CPU bottleneck right there. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you play lighter games, I would say you can keep your old uh, 7950 if you have something like that and uh, still get away with it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, we just uh, reached 10 subscribers or more, I think. So that's pretty cool too. And uh, next week I will be taking a look at uh, the beast of 2008 with the that's the 9800 GX2 that I got so 
yeah, I'll see you next time.